guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my monthly favorites for May. Let's start off with um, the Salon Perfect Eyebrow Kit. Um, this I actually got from Walmart and it came with a bunch of other stuff. It came with um, a spoolie with like a little brush at the end, an angled brush. And it also came with a brow grooming pencil. And this is, I'm thinking like it's kind of like wax. So, I'm actually more um, into the palette. So, this is what it looks like. It comes with four colors, actually three, because this one's a highlighting color, and a little brush here. It has like a variety of colors for you to choose from, so lately I've been using this a lot to fill in my eyebrows, just so it looks more natural, I guess, with me using a pencil. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love my, um, my eyebrow pencils, but... When I get really lazy, I just use, um, I just use, I use, um, this dark one or this other one here, either or, um, to line my eyebrow on the bottom just to, to make it more defined, and then I'll use this one to fill in. This one I hardly use, but once in a while I use it to just highlight, and it, I mean, they're all kind of on the pigmented side, so, and they last really long. I don't even use the, um, the brow pencil, I just use, like, a brow gel to set it. Um, the next product I'm going to talk about is eyeliner, and I don't know why I didn't mention this in my last um, favorites video, but um, it has to be the Linear Intense by um, L'Oreal, and what I love about this one is that it's so pigmented and it goes on so easily, so this is the wand, and it's like a felt tip applicator, so that's what I love about it. So I love this eyeliner. Lasts is long for me and the application just quick and simple. Next I'm going to be talking about the Naked Basics palette. I was kind of surprised at how small it was. I didn't realize it was going to be this small. But what I love about it is that it is compact. So I mean it is good for um, traveling. And also I'm loving the matte eyeshadow. So it comes with like this mirror, um, this huge mirror but I don't really use it. And these, one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadows, and they're all matte, except for this one. This one has a little bit of shimmer in it, but I am loving the colors. I'm actually wearing all of the colors here today in my, my eyes, and I don't know. I just like the whole, um, the whole, the fact that it's all matte. <laughs> uh, my favorite, if I had to choose... Like my favorite eyeshadow out of this palette would ha probably have to be um, Faint and Naked too, just because I'm such a sucker for like any matte brown um, eyeshadows. Next, I'll be talking about eye primer, and this has to be my absolute favorite. It's um, Wet n Wild eye primer from the Fergie collection, so it's a limited edition. So I'm planning to get more of these because I'm loving like the. The stay power of this. So I wore this to work a few times already and I mean I have like eight hour shifts so these last a long time. I don't see any creasing until like the very end of my shift or like when I get home you know or even like after a whole eight hour shift and I'm at home chilling like I, st I still don't see any creasing until like I you know take it off. Um, I actually like this better than my Urban Decay one, only because I've noticed with my Urban Decay that I've been, I will start to crease up right um, in the beginning of my inner corner area. So I actually prefer this, and it's inexpensive too, so I need to get more of this. Next I'll be talking about um, face primer. I don't know what it is that I like about it, I guess just because it has like the same consistency as um, Tarte's poreless face primer, so I think that's why I like it so much. Plus, I feel like using my um, my foundation, the uh, Stay Color Stay or Stay Makeup, something like that from Maybelline. Um, I feel like they work wonders together. I don't know if it's because they're the same brand, but I like this primer. So this will have to be like my favorite shampoo of the month. Um, it's the Herbal Essences. Hello Hydration Moisturizing, oh, con sorry, not shampoo, conditioner, moisturizing conditioner. So, the reason why I like this is because, well, I mean, it's hydration for your hair, so I feel like it's been doing really good with for my hair. And the smell is really, the smell is really good. 
and I'm not usually like a fan of like coconut and stuff but this one I'll I'll use so like it smells like coconut and um, yep Hawaiian coconut and orchids so I think that's and that's another reason why I like it because it smells really good plus like it does it does my hair good and it's very inexpensive I got this from Walmart so that then I'm kind of embarrassed to kind of show you this next product that I'm loving. Um, I'll explain to you why it's my favorite, but also like why I'm upset about it. Um, this is a beauty blender sponge, like a dupe for it. Um, I think it was under the brand Earth Tools. And I actually got this from Ross. And the reason why it's in my favorites is because I am loving the application of it. I like how my makeup looks um, when I apply my foundation. The only thing is that um, because it's such a dupe, like I got it for $4.99, it's, it's already like a breaking on me. Like the first time I even used it, like I already got like these little, these little um, cuts here. So, and these are just starting to like form. So I'm kind of upset about that. Like I love using this to apply my makeup. I've been using it like a lot lately and I just love the application of my foundation with um, with using this but just the only thing is it's breaking on me and I don't know if I want to invest in the actual beauty blender because I mean it's 20 bucks and I hear you have to like switch it out uh, I don't know we'll see I might just try it out but that's like twenty dollars just for like a little sponge. I'm, it better be worth it, you know. But I mean, so far I'm liking this. I'm loving it actually. Next, I'm going to be talking about um, nail polish, and it's such a beat. I just got into this now. Um, it's a top. The one that I have is a dry fast top coat, and I usually use um, the Sephora one, which is like at retail value for like I think fourteen to fifteen bucks, and I don't want to uh, like you know pay for that um but this was i got this at walmart for like 10 bucks and i mean that's not so bad but it's, it's still on the pricey side but it works just as great um i feel like with the sephora one though it's more thicker if that makes sense like the gloss is more thicker like i feel like this is kind of like thinner i don't know if that makes sense but anyways i mean this works just as well and i'm actually loving it um, and then my favorite nail polish of the month right now would have to be, um, of course, that I'll call you by Sation, and this is from my Ipsy bag, and I have it on my nails right now. Um, this is only my second time using it, but I am loving this color. Like, it's such a cute baby pink color. So I think that's like, the only reason why I like it. It makes me feel like I'm young again or something. Favorite um, random purchase of the month would have to be my black boots from PacSun. I got these on sale, so this one was $24.99 originally for like. 48 and this one was 14.99 on clearance originally at 46 so these were like my random favorite buys i mean can't go wrong with like you know bargains here plus i was on the hunt for like um a good black boot like a booty ankle booty so i think that will complete my video for today um it's not as much products as my last video i think or maybe it's about the same till the next video i will talk to you guys later have a nice day and i'll see you soon bye